We're coming live in five, four, three, two, one. Hello and uh, welcome to Dotto Tech. I'm Steve Dotto and I'm glad you are joining us today. I'm checking out the room and I'm seeing that our guests are flowing into our hangout. Thanks so much for spending your evening with us today or whatever time it is, wherever you happen to be. Well, I better do this. I better click on my picture so that I stay up and then when Isaac is typing, he doesn't get seen by everybody. There we go. And then I hope, is that, oh, I got to turn down my sound here. This is a great opening to the show. There we go. Welcome. It is App Thursday here on Auto Tech. We are going to be uh, we're going to be taking a look at the world's best apps, and we're going to be figuring out exactly what's going to who is the champion of the app world. And we've got we've got some 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 new participants or a new participant this week. We're so excited. Whenever there's somebody new, all of the other people in this show get really excited because they think that they have a good better chance to win it, to win. So I got to first of all welcome Amber Osborne all the way from Seattle, Washington. Amber, how are you doing? Fantastic. Okay, now let me see if I can make sure that I am not. Now, did she come up, you guys? Did you see her yep. talk when she talked? Yes. She did? Good. Okay. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. Yay. <laughs> the problem is I, I haven't figured out all of the little nuances of Google Hangouts, and so I want to make sure that the right people are being portrayed when they're speaking, so I just wanted to make sure that you're up. Good. So, Amber, welcome. Amber's with Meshfire, which is a terrific social media tools company. Uh, they've got, they've got, their product is basically, what they do is they they help you manage your entire social media world, especially in, in the world of Twitter, and we're going to be doing a demo on it pretty soon, but thanks for spending time with us, Amber. And we've also got the Art Factor, the last week's, last month's champ on. Art, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Steve. Thanks for inviting me back. Well, Sorry to the I, other com uh, competitors. I don't really want to invite you back each week, you know, Factor. I, I just have to sort of invite you back. Is, is it for uh, equal opportunity? Is that why I'm in? Uh, no. Oh, what, what? You always <laughs> you always go to places that we shouldn't be going, Factor. I'm just setting the I'm setting the mood, and then if I lose, then I know why I do. I lost. Well, you lose because people voted against you. It's not, not it's time. not me anymore. No, last time you did win, but you had a good app. You actually did a little bit of research last time. You just didn't just look at the top list on iTunes, which I know you've done many times in the past, right? Fair okay, enough. we also have Fraser Morrison helping us out. He's going to be monitoring the chat room, so if anybody says anything, if anybody's rude, Fraser's the one that's going to kick you out. How are you doing, Fraser? Good, Steve. How about yourself? I'm doing just great. Thanks for thanks for that. Isaac Kendall joins us, our Windows dude. He does all things Windows. That's why we have him on, because we need somebody to do Windows here. As Isaac says, he represents what percentage of the world, Isaac? 94%. That's not 94% of the world, yeah, is Windows? Yeah, it really is. No, it isn't. Okay. Is it, is 75% anybody of that? those are running uh, Windows XP. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and they're in for a rude shock as, as uh, pretty soon. That voice, the, the dulcet tones you heard was John Beeler, of course. John, you've been in a slump. You haven't won in a long time. How many months has it been since you last won? I won last time. Not last time. Well, you gave me the prize last time, supposedly. Oh, did I did I decide there was a tie? I don't. I can't remember. remember. You got you or you got Art's prize. Yes. I think there was some whining or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and Rebecca Bullwood joins us. Rebecca, you couldn't join us last time because you were somewhere. Where were you? You were in Michigan or something? Michigan. I have no idea. Iowa. In Iowa. We're visiting Iowa. <laughs> yeah, in Iowa. Iowa, okay, Michigan, yeah. Iowa. I, <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> now, now, I have to ask. You guys have been watching the video stream. Are the correct people popping up as they're talking? Not for me. I'm not seeing anybody pop up right now. But just I'm, me. I have lag. Like, yeah. You talk right now, right? Yeah. That's what I've done. See, I've done something terrible here, and so I'm going to have to try and figure that out while we go. But I'll try and figure that out once we start going, because it is App Thursday, so it's time for us to get to the apps. So, uh, oh, just going to take a. Hey, by the way, before we keep going though. In the chat room, everybody who's uh, visiting, let us know where you're coming in from because we'd like to know where you're visiting from. That's always exciting. You know where we're from. Most of us are here in Vancouver. We've got Amber in Seattle. We've got uh, Fraser all the way from Halifax, and uh, we'd like to know where you're from. So, so, And if you look on the right-hand side of your screen, you've got the chat window. And you can also heckle our presenters our, 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 you, and, and, and let us know. And at the end of today's show, you're going to get a chance to vote to determine whose app reigns supreme. Which app is the uh, which app is the, the the winning app this particular month? And so let's get let's dive into it. And I'm going to go I'm going to go in my screen left to right. Rebecca, oh, you're going to go first. 
I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you, you're 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 on the you're on the clock, Rebecca. I'm on the clock. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to start with Zula, and I checked, and you haven't done this yet, but it's kind of a productivity app. It's uh, Z U L A or Z U L A for our American friends, and um, it is a kind of a team collaboration app from uh, Jeff Pulver. He's one of the uh, founding partners. He's a pioneer of voice over IP, and it's just to collaborate with. Uh, oh, something's popping up right now. Oh. Well, people are taking pictures. It's annoying. It's alarming me. <laughs> wow, that was scary. <laughs> that was um, <laughs> Just a minute, but we still don't see Rebecca talking, do we? You don't see me talking? Is there something that popped up? You can hear me. We've got paparazzi. We've got, <laughs> yeah. things popping up. <laughs> oh, why is all the cameras up there? Why are there all these cameras up there? Oh, that's because I have cameramen loaded. I have the control room loaded. <laughs> is that the reason? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me come over there. You're only in Richmond. I can come and smack you. I'm in North Delta. Oh, that's right. You work in Richmond. Sorry, Rebecca. We are Am being so we are being so rude to you. Is anybody chatting? Is can anybody you hear me? I can still hear you. Uh, and you can see me. Yes. Oh, I haven't enabled the chat box. There it is. Well, oh, Claude's saying, Steve, make her big. <laughs> make her big. I'm trying. Does anybody out there know this crazy uh, Google Plus Hangouts? Know how I can give back control of the camera to whoever? Oh, I, oh, I, I just have to select you myself. Maybe oh. that's what I'll be doing for now. Now you look lovely and pink. Yay, select me. I, I, I <laughs> can all see her now, right? Good. Okay. Okay, so Zulu. Zula. 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 Okay, so what does it do? So you add uh, collaborators, and I don't know if I'm supposed to hold this up, but you no, add collaborators, teammates and collaborators that work, and um, it's kind of like a live chat. You're working on a project. You can all chime in on what's going on. You can upload photos. It uses Dropbox. Um, so you, or not just photos, documents, things that you're working on, and they can have a poll. So you can say, did you like that last edit on the file that everyone can access? People can do thumbs up, thumbs down, live poll. You can also do a live call if you want to call someone in your team right away. So it's a nice little collaboration team app. Okay. So now, uh, Amber, you co you commented that you love Zula. What 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 do you like about it? Um, I actually I read about it yesterday. Uh, Jeff Pulver, who used to do the 140 character conferences, um, he's been talking a lot about it, especially on Facebook. Yes, um, especially on Facebook. <laughs> especially on Facebook. It, yes. it, it, I seem like I see a, a lot of posts from him about Zula, especially uh, lately. Um, it's it's technically a messenger too, from what I understand. It has a, a messaging quality to it. Yeah, there, uh, you can message back and forth, and you can do a quick little poll, thumbs up or thumbs down. But then the what it's different from like a collaborative Google Doc or something is that you can have a call right away too. So you can call everyone in your team that you've approved, and just take it to voice from text and from messaging. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and is it free? It is. Yeah. Okay. So Zula is in first. That sounds like a, a pretty good app. So uh, it's 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 more collaborative as far as communication as opposed to team and task management, which would be like an Asana or a Trello. It's more about the about sharing documents, communicating that way rather than creating tasks and stuff like that. Just so that I, it's clear in my mind. Correct. Yeah. So if you're out in a boat and there's a comment on a, pro, a, a document that you're working on or collaborating on, then you can do that from anywhere with your mobile, with your tablet, anything. Awesome. Okay, Zula is in first, folks. Let's pay attention. All right, uh, let's get to John Beeler. John, what do you got up first? I have Top Notes, which is basically, uh, as far as I can tell, it's just for the iPad. And mm -hmm. it basically is a annotation tool. If you like to doodle and draw stuff, it lets you bring in PDFs and annotate them. Um, one of the neat things I really like about it, it actually has a really nice natural um, paintbrush type thing with your, with your finger. So you can actually do some really nice... Mm -hmm annotations and things like that, save them out, share them, uh, bring in graphics uh, from your camera, from your library. Uh, it's completely free, and then you can share those files with everybody else. I mean, it's, it's again, it's another type of collaboration thing, but it's, it's really for people that like to take notes. And um, you, don't, you just Does it then finger. save it, does it then, does it then save it back to a PDF, into, the, into a PDF format? Yes, it can. Yeah. Okay. So, or can you keep them layer? Can you keep the edits uh, in layers so that you can... Like use it to uh, to uh, as a markup tool that way. 
Yeah, yeah. You can annotate. You can highlight. You got different pens. You can even change the paper that you're drawing on. Um, you can bring in stuff from uh, from various um, like Dropbox, Box. Um, there's even a rubber stamp tool, so you can put like draft or whatever you want on it. That type of thing. Um, it's you know it uses all the the gestures and stuff. Like that. There's all kinds of neat little tools. It's just a really beautiful. Um, sketchbook app it's completely free and it's also really great for looking at pdfs because then you can easily doodle on it and then save that out got it okay so arts what first one is top notes that's john beeler john's john's i know sorry i said art that's because i'm i'm, I'm getting look the same to you don't <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, isaac 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 help us out here isaac uh, I, with the mood lighting Oh. With the mood lighting, it's, yeah. it's the Godfather. Yeah, Tony Soprano. I, it's kind of more like that scene from uh, Apocalypse Now. The horror. <laughs> turn your t turn sideways and go the horror. That'll do it. Well, uh, my app, first app, <laughs> okay, which fine. is going yeah, to be the awesome. winner. <laughs> oh, this one, Rebecca. Are you sitting down? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Um, in honor of the beginning of the World Cup today, we're going to go with the FIFA app for iPhone and Android. How topical. Very topical, yes. It's, it's no 100 balls, but yes. Um, so this uh, allows you to track your favorite teams, track uh, overall the, the whole landscape of the World Cup, receive push notifications to your phone uh, with the news and uh, other uh, type of uh, happenings down in Brazil and just uh, be able to stay on top of the excitement of the uh, the largest sporting event in the world. Now, I know we've got a few soccer fans here. Uh, Rebecca? Yeah. You, yeah. You, Amber, you're a big soccer yeah. fan, too. Do you know yeah. that Rebecca is a Southsider and the, for the Vancouver Whitecaps? <gasps> really? You know Are that? you an Emerald City supporter? <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, yes. Nice. Sounds oh. like a cat fight. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, I knew it was going to be you, Factorist, and I knew you were going to come up with that. No, okay, good. The so, numbers are going to go through the roof. <laughs> does any do, who who are you pulling for, Rebecca? Um, I'm pulling for Germany. That's where Germany? my mom was born. So yeah, always go for family. Yeah. John, do you have a do you have a preference, or uh, the, whatever whatever team it does it has the most 3D printers? <laughs> uh, no countries that are currently playing. Isaac. You know what? I, I'm just a fan of soccer in general, and I don't have a real horse in this race, so I'm just looking for some good soccer. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh, or football. All right, who, who are you pulling for? Um, I, the Canucks? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a soccer fan. Okay. That's not the right answer. <laughs> Amber? Amber? I'm definitely also going for Germany. Uh, oh. I love uh, Bayern Munich and and all that crew. And my family is okay. also from Germany, so okay, I'm well, not ready I'll, to forgive I'll Germany. Do, I'll for be what the lone dissenter. I'll be the lone dissenter, and I'll 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 go for Italy. So yes, yes, since I am Italian, they make good shoes. Sorry. <laughs> they make good shoes. They also win a lot of World Cups. A lot of food. It seems like every other time. Yeah. And they were, and Spain was just a machine last time. I mean, nobody was going to beat those guys. Okay, so there we got the FIFA app, which is a popular choice. Art, are you ready to go, sir? I am ready. Uh, my first app that I'm going to be discussing today. Uh, it's one of those apps that that really uh, I think it's interesting because it it utilizes um, sort of a community of of different things. It's called the card table. And what it is is that it replaces... It, it's it's playing cards with geeks. Uh, because what it does is uh, it uses your iPad. So you put the iPad on the table and if, as long as everyone else uh, has a smartphone, uh, your smartphone becomes your, your cards and uh, the the card table app uh, integrates with all of the phones, so you can play anything from uh, from poker uh, to uh, bridge, go fish, uh, pretty much any game you can play with a 52 card. But instead of using cards, you get to use your iPads and your iPhones. I think it would impress your geeks if you were. I like uh, it. I gotta admit, I like that app. I think yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, uh, it's not groundbreaking, and you really, for a dollar at the dollar store, could replace this app. Uh, and and cards don't run out of batteries, but I just thought it was it was cool when I saw it. Uh, I think I saw it. I forgot where it I saw is. it. But I just thought it, it was it was an interesting way to to really. It's it's a very wasteful app. Well, no, it, 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 I mean, if you don't have cards, 
right? Or if they're sticky, it's a it's a much more hygienic way to play cards because you're not touching each other's cards. <laughs> you think about that. So the cards of the whole... future. So imagine playing cards like this. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's, there's a fish. whole hygiene that's right. Go, go fish. fish. Yes. And so that that's pretty good. Cool. I can still remember that I was sitting on the BC Ferry once going to Victoria, and I looked around that little cafeteria they have there, and there was like eight couples sitting around, and every couple was looking, uh, both sides of the couple were looking at their smartphone, except one couple that was playing cards. And so as I walked up to them and I leant over and I said, you know, there's an app for that. See? <laughs> the best of both worlds. It is, indeed. Amber, what do you got for us? It's, this is your first one. You've got to impress. You, I'm just going to give you a word of warning. With this group here, you've got to show your chops right out of the gate or they are like sharks with blood in the water. Yeah, your fourth one can suck. Don't worry about it. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so I found this app uh, last week. It's called the 3030 app. And uh, if, if you're like I am and you get up in the morning and you get really easily distracted or busy on task and you just kind of forget where the time went. This is a really great app for sectioning different periods of time, like setting like 30 minutes up just to drink coffee or to check your email and, and just nice little segments. And it will yell at you. Um, it has a great UI as well. It does. Um, that's, that's one of the things I really like about it is because it, it makes it kind of fun to get things done. Yeah. Um, so it's it's really great for those that are easily distracted and uh, you know maybe get sucked into social media. So you can actually you know section out times for you to do social media or to check your email or to drink coffee or walk the dog or whatever. So it's just it's it's really great to keep you on task and focused. It it is a great app as far as that goes. Actually, I've got a couple of videos that I produced on Thirty Thirty because it's a awesome. it's a terrific task timer, uh, and so it's different than a task manager. So you don't actually do your to do list, but you demark the a period of time to 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 assign to a task. And for people who have you know, if you've got like a ton of email always and you never seem to be able to get through it, it's a great idea to just say, you know what, I'm going to spend thirty minutes on email and then I'm going to stop and whatever I get through, I'm going to do. But even if you get a little bit distracted, you know, you get partway through it, and then one email has led you to a website, and that's the point where you might go off and start checking, you know, your Facebook posts or anything else. Yeah. And you just take a look at that task time, and it says, "Oh, I've only got seven more minutes to go. I can stay on task to the end of that." So it does a great job for that. It's a good app. Yep. Thanks, Amber. Yeah, it's solid, solid start. Now, before we go on, we're going to start round two here in just a second. But before we do, I'm just I'd asked everybody to let me know where you're all from. And then I hadn't enabled chat, so I couldn't see it. Uh, so I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. I got to bring me up again, so Amber's not there. There we go. So uh, we got Bonnie from Surrey. Welcome, Bonnie. Sherry from Cloquet, Cl Cloquet, Minnesota. Did I pronounce that properly? Cloquet. Susan from Berea, Ohio. It's near Cleveland. I've never heard of Berea. Uh, Ari but welcome, Susan. Lee is in Arizona. Look at this. Welling, Welland, Ontario. Andre. And Betty from the Lake Regions of New Hampshire. Oh, wow. Barry from Hagerstown, Maryland. It's a good thing we brought Amber on as our token American because otherwise all these other Americans would be just going, it's all Canadians. It's all, we don't understand. They keep saying a boot. Okay. Uh, we've got... Beer and uh, hockey apps. Beer and hockey apps. Beer and ho hockey apps. And that's, that's it as far as where people have said they're from. So anyways, welcome. Oh, Colin from Surrey. Excellent. Welcome, Colin. So we've got a few here, local, and then all through the states. Richard from Florida. Welcome, Richard. Awesome. Lee says, I can do the 3030 app. He's, he's, he can't do it. He's 47. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good stuff. All right, round one is in the books. Do we have a winner from round one? I don't know. Let's yeah. see what round two brings. <laughs> yeah, yeah Arts, has, Arts has actually got a contender. Okay, Rebecca, round two, ma'am. What have you got? Round two. Um, I'm going to go with, well, this is going to, well, it, it can be useful for the Americans, but it's the Parks Canada app. Um, of so course Parks it can be useful. They visit. Yay. Please visit. <laughs> Richard and Gabby from Florida just uh, tuned out. They're going to go watch American Idol. Uh, oh. Tell us who. Uh... <laughs> but on the, on the Parks Canada app, you can find, number one, you can find a park. So this is not only camping, this is also like national heritage sites like uh Fort Langley, Gulf of Georgia Cannery, things like that. But it also is a learn to camp app if you don't if you've never been camping before. There are thing on things on it like camping basics, what to pack, how to start a fire. Uh, you can have a camping checklist that you can share with Isn't your there friends. An app to, does, does the iPhone? Because mine gets hot enough sometimes. Does it get hot? Just, 
gets hot enough to start a fire. It was a joke. Oh. It was a <laughs> bad joke. I know you can charge your iPhone on the fire. Beeler's done that. I've seen him. Oh, remember that one, Beeler? Oh, I still, <laughs> I still want to buy that. What was that one called? What was that it's one called? The, it's the bio stove. The bio stove. You put in yeah. little bits of detrius, burn it, and it fuels your... <laughs> that, if we had a cool gadget one, that would win. Yep. Cool. John's 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 tempted to go get it for us to show it to us right now. So, it's in my anyways, garage. Me- I know where it is. Yeah, of course you know where it is. It's in your garage. You got all your junk in your garage. Okay, uh, Rebecca, keep going. Okay, uh, you also have recipes for cooking on the fire. So yummy things like uh, pitas and BLTs and uh, thin crust pizzas and things that outside of normal camping fare, but the app shows you how to do it over a campfire. Um, mm-hmm. So you can find your park, you can make your reservation, you can learn to cook, learn how to start your fire, all that kind of stuff in Parks Canada. Excellent. Okay, Parks Canada app. Yep. There we go. Rebecca always brings us a good tourism app. She's so conscious <laughs> towards who her to towards who her market really is. Uh, John, what do you got for us? Well, um, a while ago, Steve, you and I got to see the new Samsung Galaxy S5 and its built-in heart rate monitor. And so, yes, actually, we did. I came across this app called Cardiograph. Um, and I believe it's available for both Android and Apple. And it basically uses the camera, and it basically just takes a picture of your finger, and it can see the blood vessels pumping through your finger somehow, and it gives you feedback. I actually um, I just did my... I don't know. You probably cannot see this. Yeah, all, we but, can't see it very well. Um, but um, now... I checked and it was free when I got it because I'm cheap, um, but it looks like it's a dollar ninety nine now. So I don't know, maybe that was just a weekend sale or something that I got it from. But it's really neat and it doesn't require any special hardware and it works on just about any device on that has a camera. And you can even set uh, the uh, which camera to use, the front or the rear. Um, and, and so can... it, it's actually looking at the blood coursing through your thumb. Yeah, it, it measures just movements at I guess like a macro level and uh, you can create a profile so you can log it over time. Do you put your thumb right over the camera lens, right? You you put it right on the lens, yeah. Yeah. And then and then you need to wipe it off afterwards. Isaac, I've got it figured out so that it's going to whoever's making the most noise. So you've got to stop typing so loud. <laughs> mute. <laughs> it's that yeah, Windows if keyboard. You mute, if you mute yourselves you could do that, and then the camera will automatically switch to you. But if you do mute yourself, remember to unmute you when I come to you. Okay. <laughs> Poor Isaac. I pick on Isaac so much, but it's fun. That's a good thing to be doing. Oh, Better he's, fact, he's, than me. He's, he's, he's sitting there because he's typing all the time. What is it? Art has an app almost exactly like that. Okay. No, Art's I did. Done, Art's done that already, okay. yeah. That's okay. Oh, I wasn't about to call him out. I know that I'm not supposed to mention it too much, but we have a visitor from Sri Lanka, too. Welcome. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Like That's it. now? Right I, now. In, what time is it in Sri Lanka? Let me know, Dalipa. What time right. is it? Oh, yeah, because I don't have the world clock. Okay, uh, so that's a good one. Uh, John, the heart rate monitor. It's called Cardiograph. It's a free Android and iOS app. There we go. Okay, Isaac, now you can make noise. Make some noise. Make us proud. All right. Uh, this app today is uh, no stranger to the mobile app world, and with Amber being from Seattle, it's uh, timely to bring out the Kindle app. Uh, why talk about the Kindle app today is because both on iOS and Android in the last couple of days, it's received a significant upgrade to incorporate audiobooks. Um, Amazon also owns Audible, and what they will do is when you upgrade the app and launch it, and it'll scan your Kindle library and um, show you audiobooks that are available to companion your Kindle book. And what's great with the Amazon WhisperSync program yeah. is it will actually... Uh, while I'm driving my long commute to work through uh, wonderful Vancouver traffic, I can listen to the audiobook, and then when I get home, I my bookmark on the audiobook will fast forward into the actual um, words version of the book, and I can read it uh, right where I pick uh, pick up right where I left off in the audiobook, and then when I bookmark that, get back in the car the next morning to drive to work, it'll pick up where I left off on the Kindle. Brilliant. That is an that's that 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 WhisperNet is an awesome concept of moving forward. But they still charge you full pop for no. the book. No, they, oh, no. Do, if, do they you, have a if you buy the Kindle version, you do get the Audible version at a discounted rate. Like I uh, I owned on my Kindle for years Gulliver's Travels, and they actually had the Audible version for free. 
Okay, because that was the thing that always bothered me is you know, yeah. you, and you pay so much for the Audible version. I mean, they're great because they're performances, but you know, you, all of a sudden, you know, it costs you way more than the hardcover of a book would have cost, right? So right, exactly. So they, I, so they I have an Audible sub subscription, and I pay I think like, what thirteen bucks a month. The camera just comes on my credit card, but thirteen bucks a month, and I get one credit, and one credit generally is one book. Yeah, as yeah. Well, so, yeah. Good stuff. That's a strong contender, actually. I, when I first saw Amazon Kindle, I went, really? Kind of low-hanging fruit, but no. Good, no, good job. It's, 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 it's really picked up some steam uh, recently. Well, I think that that WhisperNet is the coolest thing. The fact that, and if you read on your phone and then you move to your Amazon Kindle, the bookmarks move along with you as well. So that, that to me, is just a stroke of genius. That's a, that's a very cool side of that app. There we go. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we got Art. Art, Art, what do you got? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. My second app I'm going to go with is Fitbrains. Uh, it's Fit just, it's an That's app. That's not what you have second in my list. Oh, do I not have that? Uh, then dude. I'm no, sorry. Uh, my second one. I'll go with it now. Yeah, go with it. Go with it. Don't don't mess it up now. It's, we uh, need it, to build suspense and tr tension in the show. That's what good theater is all about. Oh, okay. Good to know. I read that. Where? On the internet today. Um. Yeah. So Fitbrains. Uh, it's it's just it's an app to uh, I'm now getting up there I don't know it probably doesn't show on my face but I'm uh, I'm pushing 40 and uh, I know right it's pretty sweet it's the lighting uh, so it's uh, it, I mean if you're gonna play games on your phone you might as well play something that's going to uh, train your brain and exercise uh, your brain uh, so there's over 360 games uh, I've only gone through a few um, as you can tell I uh, I still forget stuff uh, but it's free and uh, it continually challenges you. And it's uh, good for the um, uh, iPad and iPad. Is this along the lines of luminosity? Is it luminosity? Luma luminosity? luminosity. Yeah, luminosity. I, I I googled it, and there was uh, some there were some um, uh, comparisons to brains uh, to luminosity. There are some. It says there are some uh, in-app purchases if you want to, but I haven't mm -hmm. had to buy anything yet. Good stuff. So so you're finding so you're more mentally acute, more sharper. It's, uh, it's just yeah. the beginning, but I hope by next App Wednesday, I will Your remember more. Razor wit will come through. Does anybody believe that you can actually train your brain? I know, I know that people that do crossword puzzles supposedly, you know, their ra brains remain more agile. Do you believe in this brain training? I hope so. Sure. Yeah, John, you do. Absolutely. Mm, okay, I do too. But I've seen some. I've just seen some naysayers online recently. But it's the internet. People are going to poop. Brain's away. a muscle, just like a bicep. Brain is not a muscle, exactly. just like a bicep. Brain's an organ. Well, it's an organ, just like your bicep. <laughs> your <laughs> bicep's not an organ. I, did, I know I, that. I, I know did that. Tech that biology. I'm in. sorry. I, I took band. So if you have any questions about, <laughs> about yeah. drums, I'll tell you that. Brain's an instrument, just like a trumpet. Got it. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Amber, Amber, you ready practice. to go? <laughs> Amber, yeah, when you sure. move your head like that, we can all see the pole behind your head with all the Christmas decorations. You got to keep your head still, or we're going to know that you haven't done taking down the Christmas decorations. Actually, it's really cool because it holds like all of our greeting cards and stuff that we get. So we're just just leave it up. It's Christmas all year long. It's Christmas all year At long. Amber's house. That's right. It is. There we go. Okay. All right, Amber, what do you got for us? So my, I'm, I don't know what order this is in, but. Uh, I don't, know. Arts, arts I don't remember. That. I need I need to do my fit brains. I have no idea. Um, so it is Pocket. Mm -hmm. So Pocket is a really awesome app for say if you're someone like me who books like bookmarks a bunch of blog articles or news articles and you're like yeah I'll totally get back to that and I'll read that and you don't. Um, Pocket's a really great app that you can bring all of those articles in, save them, and then read them uh, whenever you want. So, say if you're on the airplane or you know you're traveling a lot and you don't have access to Wi-Fi, it's a great way to actually catch up with all of those articles and those news stories and everything that you said you were going to read and you never really got around to it. Now, is this similar to Instapaper? It's 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 a lot like Instapaper. Um, I haven't actually used Instapaper, but I just know because uh, we we actually integrate with Feedly over at Meshfire. And as soon okay. as I say Feedly, which is an RSS reader, people are like, "Oh, what are you guys gonna get Pocket?" So I had to go and check out Pocket for myself, and I use it a lot for traveling. Okay, so so you were hearing a lot from your user community that it was a very popular app. So then that's why you got interested in it. Got it. 
you can answer. Are you still yes. there? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. I thought I'm we lost you. It seemed to have frozen for me. Okay, Pocket, which allows us to to basically bookmark interesting stuff. Now, how does it know how deep to go? Do you tell it how deep to go? Like it sometimes, you know, there's two or three pages of an article. Does it automatically recognize that? Yeah, okay. it usually does. I mean, I've I've ran into a few bugs with it, but of course that was early on. Okay, good stuff. And is it for Mac, uh, for iOS and Android, or just iOS? You know, I actually think it is for uh, iOS and Android. Um, I might be wrong, but... I think uh, it is, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, good stuff. Pocket is the... So the, that's the end of round two. So we've got, we've got some pretty interesting apps going forward, and we've, got, you know, we've exercised our brain. We've, uh, we've, we've yeah. got our little bit of a soccer fix. By the way, who won the game today? Is it over? Brazil opening Brazil. match. Brazil. Brazil yeah. Japan. What a surprise. What a surprise. Okay, well, they're, they, they know their soccer. Then the NHL should finish. Is it tomorrow night the next game is? I think it's tonight. tomorrow night. Is it tonight? I thought no. It was tonight. No, they played what? last night. Sorry. You're Gotta right. fly from one coast to the other. Okay. Okay, Art, now that the Canucks aren't in, Art doesn't even know. Yes. Yeah. So All right. So let's go to round three. Rebecca, what do you got for us for round three? Rebecca's having to dig deep into her list because she originally had the FIFA app as well. And then she wrote me that she said she had a different soccer app. And she says I'm going to do FIFA instead, and I had to write her back because I knew what everybody was bringing up, and I knew Isaac had it. So she's a little verklempt, a little off her game as a result. <laughs> Am I off my game? I no, I haven't. I don't have okay. actual real evidence of that. I just suspect you're off your game. I, I am. I am. But okay. I'm going to get back on track with jet lag rooster. Um, although I did not just fly in here from somewhere in the east, but um, jet lag rooster. So. Flying east to west is usually worse for me than flying west to east to west. Sorry, west to east is <laughs> Anyway, you get jet lag. <laughs> I am off my game now that you said that. <laughs> um, it's an Which app way? to help Does you address. Does bother you? No. Oh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so, unless you're traveling in various time zones. Anyway, you can get jet lag by your body's clock being different than the time zone that you're landing in, different light levels. So this app allows you to set where you're traveling from, uh, where you're going to, and then it will have a nice little reminder for you when you should get to sleep, when you should wake up, just to get your body in the right kind of in sync for the new time zone that you're in. Oh, preemptive napping to be able to yes. get closer to what the schedule's going to be. Okay. Yep, so you can set your schedule a few days before travel. You can say, I'm going from San Francisco to New York, or I'm going from San Francisco to uh, London. And you can set your sleep schedule and your awake schedule and your napping schedule ahead of time. Or once you arrive, it will adjust it for you as well. So it will say when you should get some rest, when you should uh, lay in the dark and try and have a nap, and uh, try and get your body back in sync just by using their recommended times. Got it. Now, did you try it for your last trip back to Iowa? I didn't. I'm not usually that bad with Iowa. It's just two two hours difference. Okay. But um, but yeah, when going to Europe, it, I usually get really jet lag, really sick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So I will definitely try it next time. Got it. Okay. Jet lag rooster. I wonder what the yeah. rooster means. What does that mean? Oh, it it's like a rooster that would tell you when to wake up. Got it. it okay. Got it. Oh, it's like a booster rooster. I didn't have it. I didn't quite have it. So. Okay. Jet lag rooster. John Beeler. That's a tough act to follow, buddy. <laughs> All right. Um, so there's a lot of different apps out there for creating, um, you know, filters and collages and things like that for who just took a picture? Steve, Steve did. Yeah, it's distracting. Um, <laughs> I know. You were doing it to us. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> so Instabot is basically uh, a collection of different filters and um collage tools to, you know, assemble those neat little uh, triptychs and things like that you see on, on Instagram. But, you know, if it just did that, that would be kind of boring. Um, this I, I should note that this is, uh, as far as I can tell, only for iOS, and it is $1.99. But one of the neat things about it that I don't, I haven't heard of any other apps that do this, is it actually lets you peek inside your followers on Instagram. It tells you who's following you. Uh, uh, following you back, those types of things. It tells you when people have unfollowed you and that type of thing. So if you're all about the Instagram, it might be a really good analytics tool to see what's going on in your Instagram world. Okay, so it, yeah, it's giving you feedback on, uh, so it's giving you a lot of your uh, information on Instagram as well as 
you're saying it's a series of filters as well? Yeah, it's basically meant to be like a, a one-stop shop for you know taking the picture, modifying the picture, creating collages, and doing neat effects and things like that. But also getting some insight into who's actually looking at your photos, who's adding and, and uh, unfollowing you, that type of thing. And uh, I haven't seen anything quite like it before. So, okay, Instabot neat. for Instagram. Yes, Instabot is in a robot. It does everything for you in Instagram. Good stuff. All right, Isaac Kendall, what have you got next for us, sir? Okay, so. I apologize, uh, I'm going to get really geographically specific, even more so than Parks Canada. And my app is the uh, the Rogers News 1130 app here in Vancouver. Oh. Oh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> Sorry, Art, but I, 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 my radio doesn't have an FM dial. Well, it should. Our, our, our friends in everywhere else in the world are right now just... There, we can practically hear the browser windows snapping shut, Kendall. Yeah, okay. I, apo I apologize, but this is, uh, again, I, I commute every day, so uh, knowing what traffic is like is very useful. And uh, even though the all the radio stations in town do news and we the weather every 10 minutes, you can actually launch this app and press play, and we'll play the latest traffic report um, as of the last uh, broadcast, and that's incredibly valuable to and me. And you do that and in at your the end car? of the day, it really is all about me. Okay. And you do that in your car? Well, no, I actually do it as I'm illegal? walking out the door to my, to ah, my car okay, so good. I can figure out which way I'm going to go, whether I'm going to go down Nordell or go through the tunnel. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. I apologize right for being a little too geographically specific. Don't you yeah, want yeah. some music to uh, to wake you up in the morning on your commute? So so for the listeners no. that aren't aware, for the viewers that aren't aware, Art produces the morning show on a competitive station to the one that Isaac was just pimping for. So there we go. Okay. Art? Full disclosure, Rebecca and I used to do segments on News 1130 as well. Okay. We did. <laughs> well, Tech Tuesday. Uh, and I, I worked for Rogers for 17 years. And my okay. husband works for a different radio station set entirely, so. <laughs> Fight! Okay. <laughs> well, nobody cares. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> classic. <laughs> nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey. um, oh. Uh, yeah, Amber seems really when you get Canadian <laughs> radio. You guys even have radio in Canada? Uh, yes, How we do. How long have you um, been doing this show now, Art? Your show. Your new one. Uh, I'm on month three. Yeah? Yeah, ratings came out. We're second. So, so John, how many times have you been on? A guest. Who are you second to? <laughs> yeah, well, what is I haven't been on as a guest yet. Uh, we're, we're waiting first before we start bringing on the fantastic guests. We're waiting for the ratings. Have you had any uh, guests on? Have you had uh, any no, guests? not yet. Not oh, yet. you haven't had any guests. Okay. We haven't had guests. Yeah. Okay. I Let's told you, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be first in line. Ah, uh, yeah, you say it, but I don't believe you. Well, I didn't he's, say what line it was. Okay. Um, he's waiting outside the station right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, that, I thought that green, that green uh, cloak was his, in his car. Uh, yeah. My next app is called uh, Later. Uh, automatically text, tweet, and email scheduling for a more productive life. It's a, uh, it's, it's a mouthful. Uh, so I was wondering. Because I now wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, being the morning show producer of a fantastic radio station and radio show, uh, Z95.3, uh, Z95.3 Z95.3.ca, uh, for all of you listening uh, from around the world. Um, and I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and my day, I'm at the station by 5, and sometimes I think of things, and uh, before I started on the uh, Fit Brains, I would forget. So I would want to text people or, or email people. But I don't want, I mean, you know, uh, with, with their phones making noise uh, and waking people up, I didn't want to be that guy. So instead, I found this app uh, that will allow you to schedule a tweet the uh, same way that Hootsuite uh, will, you know, you can uh, time delay, time shift uh, a tweet. Uh, but yeah, I, I was wondering if there is a possibility to um, time shift a text. And that, uh, apparently, yes, you can with later. I haven't, uh, I've, I'm using it tonight. I'm going to see if it uh, works properly, but I think it's pretty cool, and it's free. I use the time-shifting feature in Boomerang all the time for email if I'm writing late at night to make sure, or if I write late on a Friday so that it arrives in the person's inbox on Monday rather than right away. So that's a, that's a great concept. So later, good and stuff. It's all, I also thought it would be great if uh, when you're really angry at your partner and you want to send that text but you're, uh, you're not sure, probably not a good idea because you probably had too much to drink. So if you delay it for an hour or two hours or maybe the next morning, maybe uh, when you sober up, you can reread the text 
and uh, change some of the wording if you decide Except to. you recognize that what's going to happen is you're going to be angry, you're going to be a little bit drunk, you're going to wake up the next morning to the sound of the text arriving on her phone. <laughs> That's a possibility. <laughs> and your life flashes before your eyes. Don't read that. Why not? Uh, okay. Never <laughs> mind. Never mind. And then you break it's into her phone and delete it. Yes. Well, good luck for that. Yeah, that's, uh, that happens all the time. Okay, Amber, what have you got? Yes. All right. Uh, well, it's nothing as exciting as, you know, traffic apps. Um, however, <laughs> I, I couldn't <laughs> start talking about the Seattle traffic app because that, that saved our butts this week, but whatever. Um, so my next one is an app that I've used probably about a year and a half now. It's called Check that you can get at check.me. And what check is, is it's, a, it's an awesome way that you can make sure you don't miss a bill. So you can put in all of your different credit cards and your loans and, and whatever, and it, it will give you reminders of like, hey, this is due soon. And it's also connected to all of your accounts. Um, I think they just got bought by uh, Intuit as well. Um, so it's it's a really helpful app for especially busy people who sometimes forget to pay their bills. Which is called alcoholics. Yeah. So that's spelled the American way, is it? <laughs> what? Check is spelled the American way. Yes. There's not the English way. Right. There's no Q U E. My last name's Osborne, so I get that a lot. It's like, oh, are you related to Ozzy? And I'm like, no, we don't have a U. Good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So check. It, it's uh, is is the so it and 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 it just it tracks all of your payments or it tracks all of your obligations. You yeah. can sync it to your bank account and and make sure that everything is on track. Does it warn you if you have a payment coming up and there's mm -hmm. not enough money in your bank account? No, but that would be awesome. Would that be a good idea? Except mine would be constantly like, bugging me every day. Steve, Steve, Steve. I, I know, I know. That, There's nothing I can do about it right now. Yes. That's there more like mint. That. That's mint. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Does mint do that? Yes, it does. So and, mint you, has, and mint is owned by Intuit as well. Yeah, that's what I. When I heard you say that check is being bought by Intuit, I'm wondering if it's one of those ones where they're buying it to bury it. You know? I hope and, not. Or yeah, take some of those dollars and build it into mint. Yeah. That have, do you use mint as well, Amber? Um, I've used Mint in the past. Uh, there was a little bit of an issue with it, though, because back about two years ago, it was only updating information from about like four or five months ago. It wasn't updating as quickly as it should. So I started getting emails of like, hey, you don't have enough money in your account. And I'm like, what? There totally should be money in that account. Um, so I, I don't know. I haven't tried it since, but it, it got really annoying with the emails. It's <laughs> that's such a nice way of putting it. They repossessed my car, Steve. Is what happened. They repossessed my car, and yes. it was Mint's fault. Yes. This is that's that's why I have this pole back here. <laughs> it's Plan B. It's Plan O. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> we have worked our way through. Oh, my brain hurts. It doesn't matter because we're. I guess you know nobody's sworn yet. I, our, uh, Isaac's the one that's come closest to swearing in the past. So. Surprisingly, yeah. I haven't. Yeah, you can. I think we can. It's just it's. I've got a clean bill of health on iTunes. The, as far as they're concerned, I'm a clean show. There's no coarse language or anything adult. So uh, that would change. Pretty. I, at some point, we're going to lose that. We're going to lose that. But it, it, I don't think it matters all that much. All right. Good. So, is everybody having fun? How? What's? Uh, the, uh, do we still have people? Let's, let's see if we still have an audience. You know what would be terrible if I go into the? Oh no, we still got we still got twenty two people online. Excellent. Welcome. Stay. Please don't leave. <laughs> My friends were doing a play once, one of those theater festival things, and with it's a competition, and they came out for the second act. There was only like five people in the audience for the first act, and it wasn't a very good show. And they came out and started performing the second act of the play, and there was nobody in the audience. And they had this kind of they were acting. <laughs> with their scene, and they one of them was kind of looking, and they recognized there was nobody there, and they started slowing down their lines a little more and a little more, and then they stopped, and they just said, okay, let's just go. And they kind of walked off stage, but they said that they felt completely out of sorts for like a week later. They just felt this really strange, like, oh, God, what? I, they just stopped in the middle because there was nobody there. If, if somebody puts on a play and there's nobody there to see it, should you still finish it? So there we go. I thought that was a far more entertaining story than you people seem to have thought. All right. 
Round four. You know what we need? We need a laugh track. Yes, that's exactly what we need. No. Please Where's don't you gonna do get that. a soundboard, Steve? I've got I've got soundboard. I just haven't installed it because it just it's just been too busy. So I've got I've got soundboard. And I've got a second input so that I, I can put theme music and I am gonna add a laugh track and, and fake applause and maybe a, maybe I I really want a, a fart effect too. I think I want one. Of laugh tracks make everything better. And so do fart tracks. <laughs> yeah. You know. Actually, have you watched have you watched that YouTube video? Somebody's pulled the laugh track out of the Big Bang Theory. And how oh, it's yeah. actually it's quite so weird. pathetic. Really? Actually, the show is quite pathetic without the laugh track. It's because I pathetic. love the Big Bang Theory, but yeah. I hate this laugh track. Well, because the might... other ones that I watch, the other ones that I watch, um, the other one that it I really like is that one. Uh, Par Parks and Rec. Oh, that. Well, you can't really do much, but but you, you still got that fakeish sound. But Parks and Rec, no laugh track, hilarious. Yeah, I love Parks and Rec. Oh, how can you not? Amy Poehler. Oh, jeez, just off the charts. Off Little the... Sebastian. All right. Oh. You know what? Little Sebastian walked in front of our house the other day and pooped. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a great shot. They they poop a lot, those little to ponies like that. But we had a little Sebastian walking by. Somebody, I don't know, they were just taking, they they were babysitting little Sebastian out here in Ladner, kind of in a farming community, and he was walking by our house. So we went out, we took pictures, got pictures of little Sebastian, and then he took, a poop. and it just kept coming and coming and coming. It was massive. It sat there for like a week because I wasn't going to clean it up, but I thought they'd come. They didn't carry around a doggy bag or a little Sebastian bag. Tell us more, Steve. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. No photos? You know what? And, and, uh, and most of our audience just doesn't have the slightest idea what we're talking about. So there we go. All right, let's do round four, and let's just get going with round four because uh, we're, we're on a roll. Okay, uh, Rebecca, what do you got? I got to follow the poop. <laughs> a little Sebastian poop, but it wasn't disgusting. It had lots of like grass and hay in it. It wasn't oh really all that well digested. Oh, graphic. Did like you this. send it to the lab? <laughs> I told you I didn't touch it. <laughs> left it there and waited for it to wash away slowly over time. It took about three weeks. Time yeah. lapse. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, are we ever going to get you back on this show? I'm, I'm sorry I brought it up, actually. <laughs> it's your fault. She's going to tell people, well, just watch the video up until about the 43-minute mark and then turn it off. <laughs> hey, well, you just watch. You just watch. This is going to be the secret to our success. Mm. All right. Okay. Rebecca, what were you, what were you, what were you doing? Uh, what was I doing? Okay, so um, when you want to take photos or videos of various things. Um, it's another collage app that you can up upload to Instagram and Facebook and wherever you like. However, this is Pick Play Post and you can add the little collage boxes however you like but you can add video in each one. So you can have a little video in one the top left box, a little video in the top right, you can have a still in the bottom left or a oh. still in the bottom right. You can have them play all together or sequentially. So if you're out and you are walking in the garden, you can take a video of each flower blowing in the wind individually. Or if you're on a trip, you can take uh, four, five, eight different little videos and stitch them together into one collage so video. So is each video limited to the 15 second Instagram length? Yes. Uh, there, there is a limit on each one. Um, I was able to upload two, or I posted two 15 seconds. So yeah, I think altogether, not quite sure of the limit, but yeah. You can actually make a longer video. You can choose to make an Instagram length video, and it'll it'll cut them off. But you can do longer videos if you want. And um, will it post on Instagram though? With a well, longer video. Well, it's the Instagram limit. Yeah, okay, but yeah, it will post the whole, whole collage, so it will have all of the videos playing at once, or just one <clears> video. Or sequence and if or you took the episode. same image and posted it, say, in Facebook, would it play back in Facebook? Yes. Uh, as a video, yeah. What's the file format? Is it a, is it an MP4 file? And uh, is it a QuickTime file? I'm not sure what it what it exports as. Okay. Pick, play, post. Sounds it sounds like it's not free. Um, this one, this I believe it was free. It might be 199 now, but I got it when it was free. I like that idea. That sounds good. That was the back with the dealer color you should download it. Uh, Beeler did not tell me I should download this. <laughs> no, but I did do it on the show previously. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> did you win, John? Did you win, John? I did not win because I think the RunP app won that. that oh, RunP. Love RunP. Oh, it was Best app ever. Uh, no, I beat Dark Sky. <laughs> yeah, there's, right. no, there's no bitterness there. Yeah. No, none, none. So, Amber, this is, this, is, this is they just can't let it go. 
Oh, that's okay. Wait till Art starts talking about starts talking about the Clean Water app. Oh my gosh. I have so I many see. poop jokes running through my head right now. Spit them out. <laughs> that's what the chat is for. No. Yeah, you can type them into the chat. That doesn't. That doesn't oh right. Our yeah, I can do that. Go girl. You go girl. That. There's no CRTC or FCC that's going to stop this podcast. Really. No, no. Yeah, the CRTC. They're not. They're not in my. They're not in my kitchen anymore. And iTunes doesn't monitor the chat. <laughs> How can they? The NSA exactly. is recording everything, though. So. Oh, they they know everything that's going on, and so does Google. Yes. So does Google, indeed. All right, uh, Beeler, what's up? So I've got a, an app that is for iOS only. It's a dollar ninety nine, oh. and it allows you to upload any font that you want onto your phone or your iPad. Um, so it's called Any Font. And basically, you use it like you would connect it to iTunes, and then through iTunes, there's an app upload, and you can add uh, a bunch of different any fonts you want. They also sell for I think 99 cents, uh, like 60 or 70 fonts that you can unlock basically as an in-app purchase to you in any app that uses that you type in you know, within uh, your iPhone or your iPad. So if you're you know working on a keynote presentation or pages or a Word doc or whatever, you'll have access to those fonts beyond just the system fonts that are typically, I think you get like a couple, you know, six or seven different fonts to choose from by default. This lets you put any font in. And I actually used a, a custom handwriting font for my logo, which I now have access to on my, on my phone whenever I want to put something up really quickly. So you could upload the font file, the one that you purchased for your computer. It allows yeah, uh, you to upload it and then be able to run it in your iOS device, be it your iPad or your, or your phone. Yeah. Yeah, it, it becomes a system-wide font, which is okay. it was actually quite a there was quite a big deal about this because um, you know prior to iOS eight, everything on in Apple Land was all sandboxed and nothing could. Yeah, you couldn't get into that. Exactly, and for some some reason, uh, the App Store allowed this app, and it was it was it made a big splash on the internet because of that, um, because it is a unique system level change that. Uh, the, the app creator was able to figure out a, a sort of a way to do that. It's, it's a pretty cool app, and, and you know, just being able to upload any font you want. So if you have like a corporate brand or something like that, and you always need to mm -hmm. be able to put that in your email uh, footer or something like that, you know, you can do that now really easily. Yeah, and, and I think tremendously practical side of the application is more people are doing, they're using Keynote on their iPad, and the ability to be able to incorporate the fonts into Keynote would be awesome. Yes. That's yeah. always been one of the biggest limitations to using Keynote on the iPad. Well said. Well played, sir. Well played, Mr. Beeler. Thank you. Mr. Kendall. Uh, I'm unmuted. Okay. Uh, picking up where we left off last week with Art's uh, journey to fitness with his uh, Fitbit, oh, I'm going Lord. to go with the Why Things Health Mate because there's nothing like public accountability like tweeting your weight. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Has wow. anybody here ever done that? I, I my scale has its own private Twitter account that I'm the only follower of, authorized follower of. Um, I'm not really prepared to unleash that on the world just yet, but uh, it, it does work. Am I supposed to retweet it? Exactly, Art. Do you have the character limit? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm oh, well played, sir. Well out. played, yes. Top it uh, up for him to get up. Oh, sorry. Uh, so it, it, but it ties in beyond this. So the Y Things has many uh, fitness and uh, lifestyle apps. They've got a uh, uh, blood pressure reader. Um, they have a new thing that they launched this spring where it's a little light mood thing for your room for your sleep, and it has a little mat that you put under your mattress. And it, it monitors your sleep and will change the, the, the lighting and the whatnot in the room based on the sleep, because apparently scientists have decided that you sleep better with different lights on in your room. Mm. I myself sleep better, you know, in the dark. Mm -hmm. So you combine that with the uh, with Rebecca's uh, Rooster app, and boy, oh boy, you got a couple oh, things you're, happening. You, you're you could actually in, get exactly. you could actually get completely messed up. So I've noticed the Y thing stuff, and I I thought they were a bit of a curiosity that would go away back when I first saw the very first uh, Bluetooth scale, uh, and the ability to be able to tweet out your be able to tweet out your weight, but. Uh, but it does uh, now. Is there some uh, uh, when you talk about accountability? Is there also ways to tie it into a fitness program, like to have your trainer allowed to view what you're doing and that kind of stuff, and keep it private from everybody else? Yes, yeah, you can do that as well. It ties in with RunKeeper as well, uh, but it's beyond just tweeting. So you've got the app on your device, 
and you set your goals for your weight loss uh, or weight gain, depending on your particular um, goal. And it tracks <laughs> who, it. And go, hey, who has a weight gain goal in this? I, I, I get it. I do. Okay, Amber, just shut up. <laughs> uh, Wait till it, we call you, Amber. It uh, it does uh, allow you to track your uh, progress uh, historically. It will do push notifications once the uh, your phone picks up your the weight re re uh, measurement from your scale. So. It it's it is pretty uh pretty good to see your progress right there on your phone without having to type it in and follow it. it manually. Okay, and and does it have a laugh track? <laughs> well, no, but you know it, it, when you stand on the scale, actually, it it will actually show your name on the scale. So if my wife gets on the scale while holding the kids and the dog, it'll say hello, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have you, oh. Oh, or groans. Oh no! I okay. All right, the Wything scale. That's actually a pretty solid contender. I would have to say. I think that's that's pretty cool. Okay, Art Factora, sir. All right, my uh, my, my next app is um it's for the general. I because the last time the last month we did uh, app the app Wednesday it was all gentlemen, and uh, this is for you guys who um. For some reason, women enjoy communicating far more than men do, and uh, therefore uh, for art. They, they would like to talk more and have communication more. Uh, but guys are like, you know what? Once you tell me that you don't love me, then I know that you don't love me. It's not because you haven't uh, sent me a message in two hours. Uh, so uh, I found an app. It is called uh, Romantomatic, and what <laughs> Romantomatic does <laughs> is wow. uh, it reminds you. Uh, and it will schedule, uh, much like uh, later, the later app, uh, but it will help you um, uh, send out messages uh, uh, expressing your uh, uh, infatuation, Arger, love, Arger and such, is the lust, uh, to your uh, your lady friend or your man friend, I suppose. This is, uh, this is not a uh, one-sex app. Um, and then they have some, which is what the great part is that they've got some uh, default messages, uh, basic things like, I love you, I miss you, you make me happy. Uh, and then uh, there's some, uh, like if you're busy, it says uh, you can just tweet this out or you can uh, send this out quickly. Hey, I'm buried, uh, but I want to say I love you. Uh, of course, all the emojis. And then some funny ones like, for example, uh, my pants just vibrated and I thought of you. So it will remind you to send messages. Do you so, schedule somebody, so yeah, do you schedule these for the next morning after you've been drinking? Or? Absolutely. You can do whatever you want. So, so now you can get me. sexual harassment charges placed against you <laughs> automatically. Well, I if you should probably only uh, connect uh, your loved ones. I think you ought to be careful who you send these to. to who you, who you yeah, to. sorry. There's nothing the ladies love more than canned messages. They yeah. don't know that. That's the thing. They do now. Well, and gonna, and you I'm know what? I just watch this. I just tend to think that the chances of being busted far outweigh the benefits. Because once you're busted, oh, how do you come back from that? So, you, sorry, go ahead. You guys really need to look up the guy on Tinder who sent canned yes. messages to like 39 different too. ladies at the same time, and they all had a list of everyone else. So they started talking about this guy. Oh, so he sent it, and he didn't hide their identities? He, like, mm -hmm. put it into an open list? He, he didn't know it was a chat group. Oh, he sent gosh. the same message to everybody. Oh, that's like and the person that... it was a pickup that, line. That's like the person that goes reply all, and then sends a private message to one person yes. and that, uh, from a group message. Oh, that is awesome. How's he doing? <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> He's lonely. Well, this app is once you are in a loving and committed relationship. Because nothing says loving and committed. Committing, more. yeah. <laughs> like cat <laughs> messages, yeah. More than romantic. <laughs> you know, we're, we're all laughing at it, but Isaac's already downloaded it. John's going, I, I think that might work for me. Okay. And it, it yeah. could go the other way, too. It could go the other way, too. But it won't. All right. I actually think that, see, that that's... Art, i got to give you credit, my friend. Today you came good. out strong. You came stronger than you have. You were, you were, you were, you were just... You were just punching the clock there back when we were still doing the radio show, but I think you're taking it serious now that we're off the air. You know? well, yeah, I, yeah. I, I work in the mornings. I'm, I'm off by like 11.30, 12. I got the whole afternoon to do stuff. Now, I should point out that the course grand prize for our winning uh, app this week is, is again, a Rome Mobility Package. 
uh, from our friends at Roll Mobility. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Amber, this is the last chance to impress. Last chance. What have you got? Well, I had uh, a list with the uh, the FIFA app on it as well, so I, I need a backup, and I thought I should go with the uh, where I've pooped now, or where I have pooped at. <laughs> You've Just, gone off the board. You've gone no, off the board. Too bad. Too bad. You know what? I thought it was very fitting. Um, What's it and called? It's where actual... I poop now? Yeah, it's actually uh, where I have pooped. Oh, speechless. For Everyone, speechless. <laughs> So you actually can pin on a map different... Oh, no, no, like, stop, stop. It's kind of like four square. <laughs> four square for poop. Four square for poopy. For feces. Do you get badges? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Mayorships, yeah. <laughs> I think Mayor you can also... Down. I think it actually has a function, though, because I think you can rate and review the different bathrooms. That's useful. Yeah. It's useful to know which ones are disgusting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you, it's useful to know if you pooped there a week ago and your poop is still there, it's useful to know that. Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry! How oh, like, you like know? I, you know? I recognize that, that poop. Is that, <laughs> that, that, that a dog in front of your house? <laughs> no, that was a horse. A horse. Oh, it was a miniature dog? horse. It gets it better. Miniature horse. <laughs> miniature horse. <laughs> I don't watch Parkinson and Rex, so... Uh, okay. Well, you should. Okay, Amber. So that is, I gotta admit, that's pretty. I, that's... I, I had to do something. What have we done? Had to do show? something. Had to do. Hey, oh, oh, alien. Uh, Dotto's lost control of the group. <laughs> and Rebecca, thank you so much for being classy, remaining classy as you always do. I can't uh, access the chat, so like I can't. Talk why are you on an iPad? No, I didn't set it up. It says I have to log out to do it. So I can't see anything, so I'll just stay quiet. <laughs> okay. Well, time to start talking trash about Rebecca. So, I would. okay. Okay, well, there, there we have it. We have now our, <laughs> have our, our entries. So... Now is the time that it gets fun, and, and this is where this is where uh, this is where our good friend Fraser has to wake up and start 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 getting ready to go. Um, and they so the uh, what we're going to do is now I'm going to select one of you, and you choose the next person's uh, out of the four apps. You choose which is their final app. We create a poll, and then our our vis our attendees get to vote. And we're down to 19 people in the room, so it's going to be a tight vote right now. Uh, but then, and I will of course be the final arbitrator, should I need to be the final arbitrator. Uh, uh, so, here we go. Are you ready? Uh, we're going to start with Rebecca? Yep. Who do you want to choose? Because you've been so classy today. Who, who's who's <laughs> absolutely want to it's easiest for me but, if you. But now I'm gonna pick the poop app. I don't know. No, please, you wanna, you wanna don't, pick? please don't. Please don't. Don't don't touch the poop app. <laughs> don't touch the poop app. Okay, you gotta pick from John Beeler's. John's Beeler. apps okay. are. Are you ready? Are you sitting there? Are you paying attention? Mm -hmm. I have a hundred percent of your attention. I think so. We have poop notes. I mean, two top notes. <laughs> top notes, which was I don't even remember what they were. He said it was good. What was it? John, what did the top notes do? It's an annotation. Oh, that's right, an section. annotation on top of uh, yeah, annotation app. We have Cardiograph, which measures your heart rate. We have Instabot, which is a pretty, it sounds like a pretty cool uh, Instagram app that allows you to also track your analytics on Instagram, which is very useful. And we have any font, which is uh, for iOS only, which will allow you to put any font on iOS. Which one do you choose, ma'am? I think that based on what I would use, uh, any font. Any font. I think that's a good choice. I think it's a solid choice. All right, Fraser, any font is our first entry. Mr. Okay. Beeler, sir, from, yes. uh, from Isaac Kendall's selection of FIFA, Amazon Kindle, News 1130, or the Withings Healthmate. I am going to go with the Amazon Kindle only because you can get my book on Amazon now. Shameless book. Oh. Shameless. So sad. Oh, I was just about to invite you uh, on the show to uh, talk about your book, but not anymore. I, I, well played. I, I think that's a worthy contender regardless because Amazon Kindle yes. has some very cool technology. It, it is cool. It is cool, yeah. <clears throat> Isaac Kendall from Mr. Factora's The Card Table, the virtual card game without cards. Later, for sending texts, messages later to people. 
fit brains for fixing up, for exercising the organ, which appears to be a muscle, and <laughs> romantomatic. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Come on, this is Isaac. where you need the porn music to kick in. <laughs> Take your time, Isaac. Wow, wow, wow. Like choosing uh, one of your With all due respect to the uh, final app, which I think he scraped the uh, app store barrel with, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, FitBrains. Oh, Art. Um, I think you had a chance with one of the others. I know. Okay, FitBrains is in. That's actually the app I like the best. Fraser, put FitBrains in. Okay. Fraser, I'm calling an executive ruling. Add Romantomatic. Yeah. It's our wild card <laughs> entry. Okay. I give the people what they need, not what they want. Indeed you do, sir. Art Factora, you get to pick Amber's Pocket. 30-30. Check. Or where I have pooped. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it? Interesting. Is that going to be I, your phone ring? Amber, you can gonna I rip follow that off other people to ring? see where they pooped? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Awesome. I'm Gross. tempted to get this app. <laughs> you, you remember how we remember how we all went on? What was that one where you where it uncovered the blocks all over and all of our strut. little strut? Strut. So now where I have pooped is going to be the new strut for the, for our group. And then That's the good. tile opens up when you poop there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Art, what? Concentrate. Pooped. Pocket. Thirty thirty or check. Uh, well, I was, um, you know what, I, I want to go with poop because that seems like it's what everybody wants me to choose. I feel it. Thanks. Yeah. My parents are proud. As they should be. It's Indeed. done by Mike Judge. <laughs> Is it? From Spike and Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's, it's got good bones, as they say, eh? <laughs> okay. And finally, Amber, you get to pick from Rebecca's rather boring... <laughs> Oh, we're not boring. Just comparatively oh. speaking. Just Parks add poop. Canada. Parks Canada. <laughs> Just add, add poop, poop to the end of each one of, of the yeah. names. Poops Park. Canada. Poops Canada. Park. Park. Parks and Rec. Pick play poop. Post. <laughs> Jet lag rooster. Or Zula. I I really like jet lag rooster. As somebody who travels all the time, definitely. Okay. 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 So we have our contenders. We have our contenders. Let me just check the poll. The polls are... Uh, so have you created the poll, um, yep. Fraser? Ready All right, go. post the poll. Release the poll. So I'm going to ask our audience and... <laughs> you just see the word poop and you just laugh. Amber, if you win with where I have pooped, I'm not sure we can do another show like this again. I think <laughs> it might just, you know, at least at least the uh, Run P had a real application. So please, everybody, vote now. Vote once. So it will be Art with Fit Brain. has an application. Uh, Isaac with the Chem Amazon Kindle. John with any font. Amber with where I have pooped. Rebecca with Jet Ray Lag Rooster and Romantic. Romantic, which I actually love, but I'm not going to vote for. Remember, we all need love. Install it. Okay, I have voted. It. So once you voted, you ha have you checked make results to public at the end of the poll, uh, Fraser? Yeah. Did you check? Okay. So has everybody had time to vote? I think we have. Fraser, end of the <laughs> poll. Um, Isaac. Oh. What? what? Wow. Not one person voted for the poop app. Weird. <laughs> that stinks. That is it's... weird. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Yeah. You know what? It speaks to the intelligence and the class of our audience, if not our guests. So there we got. We've got Isaac winning with Amazon Kindle. Isaac, congratulations, sir. You are the proud owner of a new package of product from our good friends at Rome Mobility. When you're traveling to the States, if you're coming from Canada, you need to check out Rome Mobility. It's how you... It allows you to... I'm used to having those. a control board. I can play music on it. 
Yeah, you oh, actually, you know what? You've got a two feeds in your thing. You can actually add a, a soundboard to yours to your new system too, Art. I could. Yes. You, I you could. could indeed. Thanks, well, listen, I got to thank you all so so very much for coming. Miss 604, Rebecca Bullwood, follow her on Twitter, especially if you're in the Great White North. She covers all the stuff that's happening in the Greater Vancouver area and around the rest of the uh, British Columbia for sure. Uh, Rebecca, thanks for your time. Thank you. I got to think. John Beeler, sir, your book is available now on Kindle. Yes. You want to plug it? Winning app. Save it? What, what, what uh, is 3D the uh, printing with Autodesk? Oh, man, it's you know you know some you won't believe what happens in the fourth chapter. It just shocked the heck out. You know Game of Thrones, nothing, nothing compared to yes. the shocks that you will. In I crush a 3D experience. printer with my bare hands. It was the butler. <laughs> oh, that was so gross. That scene was so gross. <laughs> it was even was gross when I read the book. and watch it. Oh, uh, Isaac, thank you, sir. Congratulations. Well played. And I was making fun of you in the newsletter. I was saying you, you haven't won in ages. No, it's okay. you're on mute. It's okay. We don't need him to unmute. <laughs> Art Factora, <laughs> I think you better get to bed, sir. It's late for you. You're up early in the morning. It w I was uh, tied for second. Remember that. I won you last month. Tied for second. Are you month. tied for second this month? Oh, romat oh, or, or mathematic. Actually, if we add up all We're of all your... Tied for second. Oh no, because you got zero for pit brains. All your votes were for Romantomatic. Ooh, and Amber, was it? Yeah. Did you have fun? I, you know, I, I really need a drink after this show. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, now would be the wrong time to ask you if you're going to come back on, would it? The oh, trick is to drink definitely. During the show. You're allowed to drink during the show. <laughs> Them's the rules. It starts at seven o'clock in the evening. Where well, we are. you know, I wanted to be classy about this. Yeah, well, you oh, kind of gave that up really? late, in the, late, late in the show. You pretty much gave up any semblance of it, didn't you? <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> there you go. Maybe you should install later so that you're not going to be sending any texts or tweets right now. Yeah. And with that, I have to thank all of you who stuck around to, to, to watch the show and our, student, and our audience that's been watching us afterwards as well. We appreciate you checking out the show, and we are on most every week. I'm not going to do the show every single week. There's going to be the odd time when I'm traveling and stuff that we're not going to get the show on the air, but we're going to be doing it almost every single week. Uh, keep your eye on our newsletter at Dottotech, and that, there you'll be informed of where to come to register to view the show and to be to participate in our studio audience. We appreciate those of you that were here uh, greatly. Thanks so much for that. Oh, thank you, Art. And with that, I'm going to wrap up the show and say good night, everyone. Have fun storming the castle. I can't no find where to turn it off. <laughs> no, well, somebody took a picture. <laughs> 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 oh, where do I turn the thing off? There used to be a stop being live thing. I miss the old Dotto theme. Dotto. Okay, well, you know, we're still on the air. It's because I... Dotto. What, what are you Come doing? On. Dotto. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh, man. Dotto. You, I've, I've got that music somewhere. It's, stop watching, people. We're not on the air anymore. We're not supposed, you're not supposed to be seeing any of this. It's all a bad dream. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Control-Alt-Delete. No, I don't want to kill everything. I don't want everybody to go That's away. only on Windows. Oh, oh, maybe I, sorry. Just a minute. Maybe I got it here. Oh, I'm such a pro. Is somebody recording this? It's being oh, yeah. recorded. Don't worry about that. See, he produces his own stuff, Art. <laughs> Steve, maybe well, I'll I'll go to your maybe I'll go to your uh, YouTube channel and see if you made a video on how to turn this off, and I'll tell you how it works. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> Dotto! <laughs> I have no idea how to stop the hangout without hanging up on everybody. Oh. Oh. No, that's leap call. Oh, no. Cancel. Okay. I, I can hang up. All right. There's, Good night, there's everybody. A phone button. Yeah, well, that'll stop everything. I, I just wanted to stop being live. Bye, Art. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. Go Everybody just See leave. See just you next go month. away now. Bye. I will talk to you all bye. soon. Yeah, bye. 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 Okay, goodbye. Good, goodbye, Isaac. Goodbye. Steve. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>